Okay. It fixed itself. Good. Did it? All right. Oh, hey, look, we have a friend's. Okay. Let's see, moon door three. Sorry. Also incoming raid. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. We found you. You're not getting away this time. Thanks for the raid, Tank and House. Appreciate it. Time to come quietly. Mm. 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 Um, what exactly is that you're reading? It's Kitty talk for dummies. Nya go. Nya. And nya nya. Have you been sitting here reading that all this time? just closed my eyes and kept running forward through a vast, empty world, living the hardest that I could. It wasn't that running would achieve anything, and it wasn't as if I would suddenly be able to leave the ground and fly by doing so. It was just that if I stood still, the small, perfectly enclosed garden around me would suddenly feel too uncomfortably vast. Lecter was right. Just what had I come here to do? After that, Boy decided to join the fencing club so that the skills Julia taught her didn't grow rusty during her time at the academy. Also found herself being roped into helping Jill and Han search for the nefarious Lecter quite often too. Then, roughly a month after all of this began, everyone's favorite time of the academic year finally arrived. Right, so here I need to use this formula. Wait, this isn't right. What am I doing wrong? Exam season, huh? Students sure have it rough. You're technically one too, you know? Technically. You are going to study, aren't you? Well... Well... I'll take that as a no. Oh, 
Oh god, what voice did I get? Oh, she was British. That's right. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was like, oh no. It's been a whole two days, guys. It's fine. <laughs> Oh, here you are! When an angel shines her majesty upon us. Come on, Lecter. It's time for you to hit those books. But, but I've studied for a whole half second today already. I really don't think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Lucy, why can't I get you to do that to me? Wait, no, this is no time for fantasizing. I need to study. I love the fact that I've made him flamboyant, and yet he has the most incredible so crush on Lucy. He's so unbelievably like a lady chaser, and yet I've made him super flamboyant. The bell doesn't dismiss you, I dismiss you. I hated that line so much. Uh, we're finally free. This place wouldn't go easy on us. Those were really hard. I feel like I want to curl up in bed and sleep for a week now. <laughs> oh, Chloe! <laughs> How'd the exams go for you? Well, all right, I suppose. Now, now, there's no need to be modest. We know you probably finished in half the time and got all the answers right to boot. The smile says it all. <laughs> I wish I had your brain. Sure we can't swap? Oh my god, oh. This isn't the place to be this. loitering. You're stopping people from getting to the stairs. <laughs> Filthy <Oops>. porter. <laughs> We're sorry. We're sorry. I was eating some. Oh, and one more thing. The student council's work resumes today. I'll be expecting both of you in the council room at two o'clock for a meeting. Don't even think about being late. He hid his eyes, he's evil. Oh my gosh. It, yes, yes, sir. sir. As for you, Chloe. You may do as you see fit. <laughs> um... I'm guessing that's his way of saying he'd like you to come along, too? You might not technically be a member, but you're our honorary electric catcher. We kind of need you at this point. I'll bet he's acknowledged you because of that. Because believe me, that's a real special talent you've got there. sure I've done enough to warrant that, personally. If it's okay for me to go, maybe I will, though. It sounds like fun. You might be a bit disappointed if you go long expecting fun. We'd be happy to have you, though. Fun or no fun. So if you're up for it, so are we. Nice. Let's go get ourselves some lunch, and then we can head over there. All right. Y 
E é o gás. Whoa. Lecture's here. What's the occasion? Hey, you still have this stuff never here. Going good, Celtic. I'm How about here you? Doing nothing, aren't I? <laughs> At least he's being honest about it. Lucy, I'm so happy to see you again. You're looking well, Hans. How did your exams go? <laughs> well, I'd appreciate if we avoided that fine subject. Much like how you avoided all the subjects you were supposed to study, then. Oof. Ouch. Can you stop wasting time and take your seats? We have work to do. I mean, that's... That's sorry. fair, Celtic. Sorry. <laughs> I guess I'm the only one who's sorry. Oh, I was talking to Celtic, <laughs> and I was muted. You better be sorry, Hans. Chloe was not supposed to even say well, she had to be here, here, so I didn't make her say anything. So let's get started. All right. Our first order of the day is... <laughs> talking about everyone's dreams for the future. You three can go first. Speak of your highest aspirations that we all might hear. <laughs> Please continue, Leo. First, I will go over the Student Council's main orders of business for the year. To that, I will discuss our future activities in more detail, and then we can start to work on allocating the budget. Jill, you smell first. Tell us what <laughs> desires burn within that pure sisterly heart of yours. Freaking Lecter. The desire to topple your presidency. <clears throat> As you can see, this fool will be of no use at all to the proceeding, except diddly squat from him. Oh, Lecter. When he's not here, he causes trouble. When he's here, he causes trouble. Alrighty. So, moving along. Have a good night, Celtic. Go by usual pattern here. for the year. Next month will be. Darkness. Then redness, then whiteness. Yes. Ugh. I'm exhausted. Trying to find a lector is exhausting, but somehow not having to do it ends up being just as tiring. But at least I was finally able to be reunited with my beloved Lucy. I was dying of loneliness not getting to see her during the exam period. You went a little British there, I, I didn't... couldn't help it. You liar! You went and met her this morning, didn't you? Something about seeing her before your exams making you do better in them. <laughs> You're right, I saw you too. Oh, hey. Just what I needed. A few people who look like they've got nothing to do. We're a hell of a lot busier than you are. We need to go around and meet with the heads of all the Academy's clubs and start drafting up a budget. Oh. 
Okay, I guess it's up to you, Chloe. Me? I have an envelope. Um, what is this? It's something that needs to be delivered to the mayor of Ruan. Leo's not going to take no for an answer either. So there you go. Enjoy. That sounds very much like it's your job. Mine? You sure you're not mistaking me for someone else? Oh, and Chloe? You've got a feather on your head. I do? I guess that must have been Siegs. He did say it was almost time for him to start molting, come to think of it. How long has that been there? I hope it wasn't there during the exams. That would have been so embarrassing. That's the revelation you're coming to? You know about C? That's the revelation. There it is. <laughs> and how did you actually talk to him? Okay. Good luck delivering that envelope. Talk about an <laughs> enigma. <laughs> At least... <laughs> I was like, nobody could have mentioned the fact that he can just talk to Sieg. I mean, he is Lecter. Mm -hmm. He can talk uh, to cats. You right? Yes, um, but he knows Sieg's name. work unceremoniously dumped on you, right? Also, while I hate to be the one to break it to you, there wasn't a feather on your head. Huh? He did it again. Come on, you can't let him get away with this. You've got to go after him and force him to take it back. You shouldn't have to do his work for him. I don't disagree, but I'm not sure she's going to find him if she goes after him now. He's got enough of a head start that we're probably talking like, what, five hours to find him? Six? I... I think it would be faster for me just to go and do the job myself, wouldn't it? All I have to do is deliver it to the mayor of Ruan, after all. Oh, we were kind of hoping you could help us with our work, too. I'm sorry, Jill. No, don't worry about it. No big deal. Do you know the way to the mayor's place? If you don't, I can help with that. Thanks, but I know the way. I've been to visit him once before, actually. Huh? Really? Sounds like you should be fine then. I'll take care of monsters on the way. Thank you, I will. Well, this is goodbye for now, I guess. Later. You make it sound like she's like leaving, leaving. Don't be out too late. I won't. I'm assuming this is a good moment for me to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm stuck. <laughs> Why do you have that envelope? 
It was forcing you by Lacta, wasn't it? <laughs> it's fine, of course. I'll make sure it's delivered. It's south on the highway to reach Ruan. The mayor's mansion is on the east side of the town's southern block. Don't get lost. Uh, I won't. Thank you. I wonder if this is supposed to be payment for doing this errand or something. Maybe there's travel fee. It's like an I'm sorry money. Yeah, it could be that too. Oh, right. Hmm. I'm going to need permission to go out of the academy grounds, aren't I? I should go let the dean know what I'm doing. It's Dumbledore. Oh, good day, Chloe. Can I help you? Actually, I have some business that I need to take care of outside of the academy. So I came to ask for permission to leave the grounds. Oh, I see. Naturally, I have no objections to granting you permission. Thank you very much, Dean Collins. So, I've been quite pleased to see you finally adjusting to life here. I've heard plenty of stories about you running around the grounds lately. <laughs> well, I've been helping the student council with their work from time to time. And, well, a certain element of their work does involve a lot of running. Mm, I see. Well, if that is all, I should probably get to work. Oh, no, of course. Take care. Thank you. Ha! Huh. She looks so much more chipper now. I suppose I have him to thank for that. Here I am. This is the first time I've had the chance to walk through here like this. The last time I came was during the Hundred Days War. Whoops. You can't cross the bridge at this time of day. Yes, I'll try heading to the mayor's mansion later. It's no big deal anyway. Lucker didn't make it seem too urgent. It's so nice to see this town so lively.
it really has changed in atmosphere since then. Isn't that a casino? Please tell me he isn't in there for the reason I think he is. He better not be. Hello, we go into the casino. doing here we're students gambling is expressly forbidden I know I mean I'm the student council president of course I know yes come to Papa Myself doubting how he could be more by the minute. Maybe I should ask the Dean next time I see him so I can make sure this isn't some kind of elaborate ruse. That sounds like the bridge is coming down. Finally, I can go visit the mayor now. I'll be leaving now. I need to go and take care of your work for you. You stay right where you are. Right. Hmm. Right. Just a little bit more. Are you even paying attention? Just stay here, please. Um, excuse me. student of Janice Royal Academy here on student council business. Would it be possible for me to meet with Mayor Dalmore? Uh, I don't think we've had a butler for the mayor yet. I don't recall that name, Dario, specifically. No. Okay. Uh, since I don't have a lot right now. I'm afraid not. He's currently not in, you see. If your business isn't urgent, might I recommend coming back another day? Do mayor. I assume this is Mayor Dalmore. And I don't I remember who Mayor Dalmore was. That was you. Was it me? Why yep. is it me? Wasn't he evil and British? Um, he was evil. I don't know about British though. <clears throat> he was kind of pompous, wasn't he? Yeah, well. Not like was... not uh Not as bad as Duke. Yeah, not as like Duke did it. I would be happy to hear what you have to say. Oh, no, this is Gilbert. 
Oh my god, it's Gilbert. <laughs> Oh, I'm the right, mayor Gilbert. steward Gilbert, and I act as his representative during his absence. So you're a student of Jenna's Royal Academy, are you? That's correct, sir. I've come to deliver an envelope from the student council to the mayor. I see. This is a list of all the Academy students for the current year. As you know, students generally live in dorms, and obviously there are large numbers of them coming and going year after year. It makes keeping track of all the residents of the region that much easier when the school submits a list of students like this. Oh, that's interesting. I wasn't aware of that. <laughs> ah, to tell you the truth, I was once a student of the Academy. Just any student either, I was part of the student council as well. Just a council is a fine organization. Proud as they are, noble minded, with a true dedication to carrying out their duties and bettering the academy they serve and belong to. I I see. <laughs> it's hard to believe that was ever the case looking at the current student council. The experience I gained continues to be valuable to me to this very day. I'm sure the same will be true in your adult life, too, so you can do your part to- Do- see- oh, hold on. Dyslexic moment. So do continue to work as part of- Part of it the best you can. That- well, I don't know why that was struggled wow. so hard with that sentence. Thank you. I will. I'm not actually a member, though. Well, if you'll excuse me, I wouldn't want to keep you any longer. No, it was no trouble. If I can do anything else to help you in the future, by all means, stop by. I might be able to help. But Thank I'll be useless, because I'm always useless. Oh my gosh, I miss Gilbert. He yes, you did. Who hurt that nice young man and turned him into the weirdo we have now for Gilbert? Um, the fact that he Who got him com mayor? implemented with mayor for yeah, it's what the, the mayor fault. did. I mean, let's be honest, it was fault. General Morgan. Yeah, honestly. Like... Sure, Morgan's the one that handled this case, and you know. Yes, but like the mayor started it, so yeah. Yes, absolutely. Mayor Downward is a terrible person, but you'll see that okay. Ouroboros has a way of talking people into doing what they wish. I wonder if he's actually still here, like I told him to be. Do you honestly think he's still there? I knew it! Um, excuse me. You wouldn't happen to know where the student who is sitting here has gone, would you? I'm trying to find him. Do you want me to be spear down or do you want to take it, Xander? Either way is fine. <laughs> ah, you must mean Master Lecter. That was about the same type of voice I was going to give a guy. Perfect. Master Lecter? A young lady came to collect him not long ago. She did punch him before they departed, however. Thank Adios for Lucy. Of course we knew it was Lucy. I'm so sorry for the trouble he's caused you. 
On behalf of the students at the Academy, I hope you won't think ill of us for the actions of one of our students. Our student council president, no less. I really do apologize. Oh, on the contrary. Master Lecter is a valued customer of ours. Incidentally, should you happen to have the chance to speak to him? We've placed the coins from the game he was in the middle of in his pool as usual. If you could let him know that, it would be greatly appreciated. All right, then. I'm exhausted. I can't believe he's even an active gambler. I'm not gonna try to... Nope. <laughs> That's fair. If it was like a static bobble, I would have been fine, but it was moving as she moved and I got distracted by her movement and I couldn't read it at the same time. Is something wrong? Oh, are you lost? No, I'm not lost. I'm just trying to find something. Like what? Um... I can help you look if you'd like. You don't have to do that, but if you really wanna... It's a red stone. It's, uh, really, really pretty. I'm sure I dropped it somewhere around here, but I can't find it. A red stone, right? Yeah. I don't get why I haven't found it already. Excuse me? This wouldn't happen to be what you're looking for, would it? That's it! Whew! I'm glad we were able to find it. Yeah! I, I'm, I'm Clem, and, and I'm a... Th thanks. Anyway, bye. Oof. <laughs> I love Clem. <laughs> Are you all right? I'm, I'm okay. I'll escort you back home. I can get home on my own. I'm not some dumb kid, you know. Um. Face plant. <laughs> No, but you see, I'm a little lost myself. I was hoping that I might be able to ask your family for directions. So while you might not need my help, would you be willing to let me go with you? Huh? Oh. Then I guess I could, sure. This way. Come on, hurry up. <laughs> I'm coming, I'm coming. His house is this way, though? I guess he must be from Minoria. Well, wow. 
The place he led me to was Mercia Orphanage. It was somewhere I knew well, somewhere that was very important to me. That was also exactly why I knew I shouldn't be here. Because I was so weak-willed that I knew I would rely on everyone here and stop living by myself. I say that, but this was the first place I wanted to see as soon as I arrived in Ruan. Oh, how badly I wanted to run straight here. But I knew I couldn't. I swore when I joined the Academy to walk with my own two feet and I would do anything to avoid the places that would make my resolve buckle. What's with you? Why'd you go so quiet? You want me to introduce you to the matron? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm a little stronger than I was before, right? I've gotten used to life at the Academy. I've made friends there. I have resumed practicing my swordsmanship. I've gained stamina through chasing Lecter around. Maybe I'm ready to come back here. Maybe I'm strong enough now. Maybe I can finally walk back inside here with my head held high and not immediately give in to the weakness in my heart. You're scaring me! You're not sick or nothing, are you? I'm fine. Would you mind showing me inside? Sure, this way. Keep up or I'll leave you behind. Oh, but that was a fat finger. Twitchy! Ah. Yep, that absolutely <laughs> was. Everyone else has long... Goodness. Is that you, Chloe? You've grown so much, haven't you? Matron, I... It's you. It's really you. I... I... Oh dear. I see you still look exactly the same when you're crying. Well, I... What's going on here? <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hug you out of nowhere. Before I knew it, I... I was just so happy to see you again. Oh, that's no reason for you to apologize. It's lovely to see you again, Chloe. You too! Oh, look at you! You're still the same darling the young lady I've always known after all, aren't you? I'm glad you finally came back too, Clem. But I wish you wouldn't run away like that. I just went to look for something, that's all. Um, if you don't mind me asking, Matron, where is Joseph? You haven't heard the news then. I'm afraid he's no longer with us. He passed away about four years ago. Hmm. 
He passed away. One day, he went out shopping in Ruan and was caught up in an accident. I'm... I'm so sorry. Sweetie, why are you apologizing? I... I had no idea. If I hadn't been acting so stubbornly... If I hadn't convinced myself I shouldn't come, even though I love it here... If I'd just been more honest with myself... If I'd just come here from the beginning... Who knows? <laughs> Is somebody here? It's probably freaking Mary. <laughs> probably Mary. Uh, it could have been anyone okay. of them. Alrighty. Oh, there you are, Clem! Where have you been all this time? What are you crying for? Thanks for the raid, y'all. <laughs> I appreciate it. How things go. Um. Hello there. Ah, uh, they're going good. These are the children I'm looking we after at the moment. To finish this one up, and then we've got another two of these really long stories and one more short story before we get into the final dungeon. Everyone, say hello to our visitor. Yeah. Come on, Polly. You gotta say hello. Chloe. The Mercia Orphanage you love is right here, you know. So it is. Maybe we should all have some tea. Now seems like a good time, good a time as any. Will you give me a hand in making it, Chloe? Of course. Well, she tried. <laughs> okay. From that day forward, I stopped avoiding the orphanage and made a habit of going there whenever the opportunity presented itself. I buckled. Exactly the way I thought I would. I was the same weak little girl I always was, forever craving the warmth of the orphanage and forever wanting to be surrounded by the lovely matron and the children. When I was there, the world felt bathed in happiness and smiling faces. Because I never knew my mother and father, all my memories of this place were the only ones I had in my childhood. For me, the orphanage I could visit now was exactly the same as the one I had finally remembered back then. 
When I was there, I could be at peace. I could keep deceiving myself for as long as I needed to. Yet, when I was there, I knew. I knew my heart wasn't as pure as I wanted to think it was. My garden, beautiful as it was, continued to stay enclosed. One month later. One month later. <laughs> I know I didn't intend to stay out that long. It's so easy to lose track of time when I'm at the orphanage. I better hurry back to the dorm. The lights are already off? Joe must have gone to sleep already. Ah! <laughs> Good evening, my dear. I just picture like the evil villain turns around slowly in the chair. Good evening, Mr. Bond. Honestly, though, this is the same vibe. <laughs> uh, hello. Um, what are you standing there for? Especially with the lights off? I was just feeling so lonely without my beloved Chloe around to keep me company that I opted to turn the lights off and sulk. You're never around on our days off lately. I don't need to know where you're always going, but you sure seem to love it there. Where have you been, anyway? I'm sorry for being out so late. I didn't mean to break curfew, but it just happened. Eh, no big deal. The teachers don't suspect a thing. I took care of that. That might not be the case forever if it keeps happening, though. They might notice at some point. Yes, I suppose you're right. I'll try and make sure to return earlier in the future. Patron Teresa might start getting annoyed if I keep staying out so late, too. So? Hmm? You didn't answer, by the way. Where have you been going? I know. It's a boy, isn't it? Um, Her glasses. What we have do? two more of the long stories. So this one is actually we're going on just over two hours at our pace um reading through this story um 
once we finish this one, we have two more long stories. And then we get to the uh, final dungeon. So we've got a good probably few hours left um, at the pace we go by reading. Once we get to the dungeon and I can just speed through combats, it'll go a lot faster. It's just story takes a long time. What's going on? Ow. I didn't say that yet. I was waiting for him to stop talking. He's also still muted. Mm -hmm. I thought you anyway. had said it because I was talking to chat. I well, I was not talking because you're talking to chat. So, I'm sorry. You no, know, it would be overshadowed. So, a dolly. Anyway, I'll say the line anyway. No, it isn't. I've just been going to an acquaintance's house. An acquaintance's house, huh? Oh. <laughs> and what relationship you do you have with this acquaintance, dare I ask? Um. It's a place called Mercia Orphanage. I owe a lot to the matron there, so since I live in the region now, I've been able to go visit more often than I could before. An orphanage? Oh, hold up! That's the place between here and Minoria, right? Ah, phooey! I was hoping it was going to be somewhere a little more scandalous. <laughs> I should have known with you. What do you mean? Well, your answer... Your answer's such a good girl answer. Spending your days off helping the poor little orphans and all. You're a true model student, aren't you? I'm impressed. Listen. <sighs> Listen. I'm professional sometimes. Poor little orphans? Don't you dare call them that. What? What right do you have to talk about them like they're objects of pity? And I am not a good girl. Chloe got angry. Excuse me. She's still polite, though. I... I didn't think I'd ever see her like that. You done goofed, Jill. I've done it again, haven't I? Yes. Me and my big mouth. She's... she's got me all wrong. I'm not some kind of model student or a good girl like she thinks I am. That's not why I'm always going to the orphanage. Where are we supposed to go? Okay, I was like... What's wrong with me? My heart just won't stop pounding.
Why am I acting like this? Maybe I should talk to Hans? Thanks for the follow, Clipping. I appreciate it. This isn't Han's room. I don't really want to talk to anyone else right now, either. You in there, Hans? Yeah, that's you, Jill? Hold on, I'll open the door. What the heck are you doing here? It's late. Did something happen? Not really. Your face tells me that's a big ol' lie. Come on in, I'm by myself at the moment anyway. Don't try any funny business, okay? As if I would. Now get your butt inside. Uh, I like that Jill's like, just don't try anything. <laughs> so, what happened? Something to do with Chloe, right? Can't keep anything from you, can I? Have you ever fought with her before? Not yet, no. She's the time to just apologize before offering her opinion on anything. So we've got nothing to fight about, really. You're asking because you have. Yeah. I really hate myself sometimes, Hans. I just can't seem to stop myself from blurting out insensitive stuff even when I don't mean it. She was really angry, too. Angry? Chloe? Man, I can't even imagine that. I wish I could have seen it. Can you be serious, Hans? Truth. I am. I am. not sure how to face her now. So I don't want to go back to my room tonight. Can I sleep here? Proposal denied. You're sleeping in your own room and that's a final. I don't know what she said, but I'm sure she'll forgive you if you apologize. I don't know. It's all Hans's fault. Always. Even if I do try and apologize, there's every chance she'll ignore me. It wouldn't be the first time she's lost a friend over something like this. All right, I'm taking a drink. <sighs> All the laying going back is you're going to do is postpone the inevitable. I could hardly blame her for trying for being scared. How are you already asleep? Leo? Wow, you, you're sure back late today. <laughs> uh, 
Um, you see, there's a perfectly good reason why Jill is here. I tried to say that she should go back to her own room, but wouldn't you know it? She wouldn't listen. Then... Then... How this situation arose is of no consequence. We will be sleeping outside tonight. I can't even tell if you believe me or not. <sighs> I feel like I can't understand myself at all these days. Please don't stand behind me like that. It's creepy. <laughs> Accurate. <laughs> Someone's in a bad mood. She's not looking too good. I always wished I could have a normal life like everyone else. An ordinary family, ordinary friends. You're a princess, Chloe. That's not ordinary. <laughs> Well, that's why she wishes she could have it. Exactly. But wishing for those things just doesn't get you them, and no matter how hard I try, nothing seems to work out. I just can't seem to make any progress. I get ya. You were so frustrated, you ended up lashing out against a friend who's kinda on the dense side. That's not what happened at all. I'm not you. I might be annoyed at her, but Jill is still very important to me. But... But I'm not wrong, either. I'm not going there because I pity the children or because I'm a good girl. The children there are wonderful. They don't need pity. I'm going there because I enjoy being there, and because it's important to me. I don't need to be made out to be some kind of saint for going somewhere I like. Because I'm not. That's not who I am. I just... I just wanted to be family. Sorry, Epic decided to pop up my window in front of my other screen. Okay, there we go. Go away, Epic. Why? <laughs> Seriously. Why does nothing work out how I want it to? No matter how much I want friends and family, I just can't get them. Are they destined to forever be out of my reach? You're spilling all the beans tonight, huh? What about you? Is there anything in the world you, that you take seriously? Just one thing where you refuse to compromise? You know, you can be pretty scary when you start shouting. Forget it. <sighs> shouting at you isn't going to solve anything. So, you still don't know why you're mad, right? You're not even listening to me, are you? I just told you why. It's because, well... It's because I'm not going there out of pity. That's not why I'm going there at all. It's because it's genuinely important to me, and because... <sighs> now we're just going around in circles. Sorry, but this is boring as sin. Where are you going? At least listen to me. 
I'm trying to have a serious discussion with you. You can't walk away in the middle of it. Listen, all I'm going to say is get yourself a clear answer to my question. These things are like a knotted up rope. If you uh, don't untangle the heart of the problem, you'll just get more and more wrapped up in yourself. What does that even mean? That's for you to find out. Lecter! Oh, who am I even kidding? He's probably just trying to bully me. No, he's not. He seems like he never takes anything seriously, but in reality, he does. I don't know if this should be like him this shadowing is... over. Yeah. Yeah, this is kind of like her remembering what he just said. You still don't know why you're mad, right? <laughs> These things are like a knotted up rope. If you don't untangle the heart of the problem, you'll just get more and more wrapped up in yourself. 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 You have a GoXLR. You could have just given yourself an echo. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but my Discord's having issue where my mic keeps activating by itself for some reason. Okay, it fair enough. Yeah, I keep seeing your... your I, I know, I, I saw that earlier. I was like, huh. Yeah. He's right. Why am I so angry about this? What's got me so worked up? Why? Deep down, I knew all along what I was doing. All that time, I'd been pretending not to notice the truth. But I had known since the very beginning. And to avoid facing that fact, I kept desperately clinging on to everything I could, telling myself I was right over and over again, trying to convince myself it was true. Maybe it was because I was afraid that if I accepted it, I was going to lose everything. That was why my heart was so restless. The next day. It's not like I have to do anything too daring today. All I need to do is scope it out for now. What happened to the previous two lines? Hmm. What do you mean? I didn't hear them come through, unless Mira just didn't say them. Did they not come through at all? Not that I heard. Weird. Oh. I know I didn't mean any harm by what I said, but that's no excuse. I never should have made fun of the kids here without knowing anything about them. Which is why I'm gonna come here, get to know more about the place, and then try to apologize to her. Maybe then she'll forgive me. Huh? Looks like there's no one here. <sighs> wow. This place is actually pretty cute. Well, here comes the hard part.
Jill? What are you doing here? Oh, what? <laughs> Fancy seeing you here, Chloe. <laughs> she done got caught. A little bit. Um. Do you want to come in? Come, come in? Yeah, okay. Wait here for a minute. I'll go and make us some tea. Look, I I'm I'm sorry, Chloe. What I said was really, really insensitive, and I'm really sorry for ever saying it. Don't worry about it, Jill. When I was younger, I lost both of my parents, too. You did? That's why what you said bothered me. In my head, I saw myself in them. I didn't want to think that just because someone was an orphan, they were unfortunate by default. I didn't want to think that alone meant they were doomed to spend life unable to have the same kind of happiness that others did. I didn't want anyone to say it, or even think it. But that wasn't because I was thinking of the children here. It was because I was thinking about myself. I didn't want to be thought of as a poor little girl, either. Um... Holy, I really... Please, allow me to finish. I wanted to think I was getting angry on the children's behalf, but now I know I wasn't. All I cared about was myself. I knew that too, and that's why being called a model student or being spoken of like some kind of exemplary human being irritated me so much. I'm such a hypocrite, aren't I? Lashing out at you as if I'm sticking up for other people, when in reality I'm only thinking of myself. I didn't want to admit it, even though I knew deep down. I shouldn't have been so annoyed by it, but I was. I really am sorry. N no no! You're clearly not the one at fault, Chloe! This is on me! And I'm sorry! I... Why you were angry with me doesn't matter when I said something I never should have said from the get-go. I had no idea what kind of life you or the kids here had led, and I just... I wasn't... I wasn't trying to imply you were a hypocrite or anything at all. I wanted to apologize to you earlier. I just... I just... I... I didn't know how, I suppose. Same here. I take back everything I said about the children, too. I had no right to be judging them when I'd never even been here or met them. I didn't know the first thing about what I was talking about. I hope you'll forgive me. Well then... Would you like to meet them? Really?
They sleep in bunk beds, huh? I'm kinda jealous. <laughs> That's adorable. They really do look cute when they're sleeping. <sighs> now I feel like even worse for being so mean. <laughs> I was more in the wrong, Jill. I knew very well that you didn't actually mean any harm with what you said. Why are we talking about this when they're sleeping? <laughs> Let's just have a conversation in the middle of the room while they're all asleep. Maybe they're really sound sleeping children. All my frustrations just built to a point where I took it out on you. Seriously, don't worry about it. Let's call our faults a draw, okay? <laughs> We're just going around in circles, aren't we? Still, in a way, I'm kind of glad this happened. It helped me sort out my own feelings. In fact, I feel more at peace with myself right now than I have in a long time. Because it's just hit home just how important this place truly is to me. Although, to tell you the truth, all this fighting has tired me out. You too, huh? I barely slept a wink last night. I don't know, you were pretty knocked out on that bed. <laughs> that doesn't mean that it was a restful sleep. No, I know. That's me every single night. And same. <laughs> anyway. You wanna get going? Yeah. It's kind of weird to finally be able to talk to you openly like this, though. We've been sharing a room all this time. But this is the first time I feel like you've truly opened up to me. Fighting aside, that alone has made, made me pretty happy. Yeah, I'm happy too. I think that was technically the two of them talking to each other. I don't know. I think she's ah. talking to herself in her head. Maybe. Thanks for coming today, Jill. Okay, fine. <laughs> I'm glad I did. May this be the start of a long and fruitful friendship. <laughs> I hope so. If they could label the blues text for who's talking, that'd be lovely. I'm feeling so sleepy all of a sudden. This sunlight does wonders at making you want to drift off. Say. <laughs> I, I think you were supposed I to have no idea. <laughs> I'll just keep going. I'll just, yeah. I wonder if this is how it feels to grasp what's really important to you. Hmm? Okay, this will be me this time. This is Chloe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. 
all this time, this orphanage was right here. Same as I remembered it. All the time I was stubbornly refusing to come back. All the time I was wrestling with myself about how I felt. All that time, it was right here, waiting for me to come back. Whether I was being a hypocrite didn't matter. I genuinely love this place, and that's the only thing that ever mattered. And now, I know that I'll always feel that way. No matter how many times I lose sight of myself or find myself losing my way. I know that I'll always eventually come back and remember how I feel. This orphanage is just part of who I am. There was also one other important thing that I found myself realizing. I still hadn't thanked him for all he had done for me. Not once. Let her! <laughs> Get back here! Today's the day you're finally going to do some work! <laughs> ah! E? Yes, I'm fine. Our pincer attack didn't work all that well. This is Lecter bragging. <laughs> You'll have to do better than that if you want to catch the almighty Lecter. His agility is amazing. Ha! Ah, you've got no one to blame but yourself for letting me get away. So long, suckers! Get back here! We'll see who's a sucker when you're chained to a chair under a mountain of paperwork. All the times I chased him around, I know there's got to be more than this than it seems. He is not making it look like he's up there. He's making it look like he isn't. But is that all there is to it? Let's go and have a look anyway. Okay, let me see if this works first. Okay. <laughs> I've got you now, you sorry excuse for... <laughs> Time to accept your fate! Those are just his clothes, or a doll. Oh my god. Or... Mickey? What? What were you doing under there? Oh, hold on, I gotta get the voice. Oh, oh, oh let go of me! I wasn't doing anything! That might be some of the best I've ever done. <laughs> What's going on here? 
I keep telling you. I wasn't doing anything weird. I swear. Then what were you doing down there, huh? I'm sorry, but crawling under there screams suspicious. Oh, <laughs> that's what I thought. That's why I crawled in there. I'm not following you. Um, can you elaborate? Oh, you see? I was around back at the school building. I saw the guy who looked like he rolled right out of the dumpster walking around. I don't think I've ever seen anyone so sloppy looking in my life. It's scary how I know just from that who he's talking about. Yeah, me too. Oh, honestly, he made me so curious I had to see what he was up to. So I ended up following him. Anyway, he looked like he looked around here for a while, then he wandered into the auditorium. Pretty suspicious, right? It was when I followed him in here that he noticed me. If he saw me, he seemed to panic a little before crawling under there. I tried to follow him, but I ended up getting stuck. Oh, I was so close to... So, in other words, he was toying with you. What? Maybe if you bothered thinking about things other than how best to skip class, you wouldn't fall for such obvious tricks. Reload the stream, please. He was deliberately please. trying to get your attention by acting suspicious as all get out. Like, he was trying... ...to set you up. <laughs> Call it our student council's president's specialty. What? Guy is the student council president? You gotta be kidding me. He couldn't look any less the part. <laughs> He's preaching to the choir. Okay, I gotta switch voices. Hold on. I'm all alone uh, with Mickey. Lucy. This is like a dream come true. Oh, Lucy. All I can think about is freaking I love Lucy. And <laughs> he says it like that. I don't know why. <laughs> What is it? I, I just wanted to ask you something. What do you think the most important thing in the world is? It's L-O-V-E, right? Um, if you ask me, it's probably... Strength, I suppose. What? Ah, speaking of strength, I feel like smacking Lecter upside the head right now. Well, you need someone to hit. You can smack me around as much as you like.
that's 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 it. Meanwhile, Chloe enters the room <laughs> and then just walks away. Just slowly walk away. Nope. Rope hanging down outside the window. Hmm, what's this? Are you supposed to climb up using this? I knew I'd find you here. Oh, look who we've got here. Great weather, huh? Perhaps so, but you can't honestly believe I came to talk to you about the weather. If you have enough free time to laze around on the roof, come and do some work. Everyone could use your help, you know. Hey, they need me a lot less than you think. And predicting the weather 10 years in the future takes a lot of brain power, you know. I need to concentrate right now. How does he think up these things? Still going by my experience with him. When he acts like this, he's usually ready to, willing to listen to me. Um, hey, Lecter. I just wanted to say thanks. Thanks? For what? A lot of things, really. You've done an awful lot to help me ever since I enrolled here. But because you're always trying to act like you aren't or you're running away from me, I've never been able to say thanks for any of it. I feel like I owe it to you. Yeah, I'm lost. I got no clue what you're talking about. <laughs> Gosh darn it, Epic. Stop it. <laughs> it really wants you to know that it's there. It's, it's like, like, hey. I updated. I'm like, I don't care if you updated. It's like, hey, did you know I updated? Oh. Anyway. You asked me a long time ago what it was that I came here to do, didn't you? I hated the life I had before enrolling here. I always felt like I was being pushed around by everyone and everything around me instead of really achieving anything for myself. And it was that I hated most of all. I felt empty, worthless. That was part of why I didn't want to try to answer your question, or even think about it. It was like if I accepted how weak I was inside, I'd never be able to get any stronger. But that's not how I feel now. I'm not empty at all anymore. Thanks to coming here and meeting you and all of my friends, I've learned so many new things. I was able to do things for myself, too, instead of just relying on others for everything. Yeah? So that's why I wanted to say thank you. Man. I told you before, you're too serious, right? You've been thinking about that one offhand thing all this time? I never saw that coming.
You're trying to make fun of me again, aren't you? What about you, though? Why did you choose to come here? Me? Hmm. I had nothing better to do, I guess. Seems like a good way to kill time. <laughs> really? Well, as long as you're here, you may as well do some work. Wait. Tomorrow is the student council general meeting, which means you have a lot to do. And you need to do it all by the end of the day. There's a mountain of it just waiting for you to get started on. Hold, hold up a second. Don't do this. Chloe! <laughs> I can explain. I'm not going to listen. Spare me, please! Are you gonna skip it or can I read it? Go ahead. <laughs> the day after that year's Academy Festival, he suddenly registered his intent to withdraw from school and was never seen there again. He was himself to the very end, though, making a sudden appearance in the student council organized play's final scene, rooting it for his amusement. Then, two years later, I ended up meeting him once more, in a place and way I never would have expected. did it. Uh, okay. Alrighty. Thank you guys for coming in. Thank you for the raids. Thank you for all the things. I'm going to raid out... <coughs> excuse me, to Lost Initiative. We're playing some Mass Effect D&D. &D. Uh, thank you guys for watching. We will see you next time. Bye!